If you're a vegetarian, you are not gonna like this video because, well, we got a lot of meat going on. But if you like the sound of creating a whole charcuterie table dressed to impress your holiday guests, then keep watching to see the four easy steps and the key ingredients that you will need. Okay, let's just get right into this tutorial with the first step, which is so important when guests are going to be eyeing your table, <laughs> and that is to give that table a really good cleaning. I also removed all the chairs from around the table so that the food could be easily accessed from any angle. Before you start placing the food down, make sure to wash your hands because, well, it's kind of hard to avoid using your hands when you're putting this charcuterie table together. And you want to make sure that your guests have some clean, non-germy food, right? You'll want to add a tablecloth, runner, and gather the plates and trays that you'll be using. I like to grab a bunch of stuff and have it handy so I can play around with what works best for the setup. I'm using my dinette area, but another good spot for a charcuterie display would be on your kitchen island. I got this cheese board as a gift for Christmas last year. It is the perfect size to be the centerpiece of this display. It even came with some tiny little chalkboard signs so you can label all your cheeses. Okay, I was kind of joking with that vegetarian comment in the intro. You can always use meat substitutes or use some dairy-free cheese. There are plenty of options out there to customize your charcuterie display, but I just happen to love meat and bring on the cheese, so that's what I'll be using in mine. This video is part of a collab with Pretty Simple Sherry and Inspired Living with Christy. There will be a playlist with a bunch of other holiday appetizer ideas, so make sure to check that out after you watch this video. These little rolled panino salamis are so good. They also make them with prosciutto, which I love, and they make a really elegant display and they're really easy to pick up and eat with your fingers. Hey, if you're new here, I just want to introduce myself. I'm Maria and I'm a graphic designer, so my passion is being creative at work and at home. From cupcakes for parties to home decor and ways to get creative with your wardrobe, I love sharing easy and fun ways to make life as creative as it can be. If you like the idea of being creative every single day, please consider subscribing and hitting that bell so that you can join in on the fun here on Artsy Cupcake. This garlic and herb cheese always gets eaten up by guests. It is great to have some sort of spreadable option to go on those crackers. Another must have is some fruits. You could also add some vegetables with dip if you'd like. This will give a few healthier options and it'll cater to those who don't necessarily eat meat or cheese and it just is great to have some options. Oh my gosh, I'm getting so hungry while I'm editing this. It's looking so good. I added some sliced French bread. Make sure to put out all the right utensils for cutting the bread and the cheese. Dashing through the snow in one horse open sleigh or the fields we go Laughing all the way Bells on bobtail ring I dressed up the empty spots on this plate with the bread with just adding a few little blueberries.
added a few candles and some other holiday decor to dress up the table and I made sure not to place anything in spots that would get in the way as guests were reaching for their food. We don't want any candle accidents. I also added the basics such as plates, napkins, and toothpicks. And here it is. If you want more holiday decorating ideas, click here to see a gorgeous neutral farmhouse tablescape. There are lots of target finds in that video. If you found this video helpful, make sure to subscribe so you can get more creative ideas for your home. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a very happy day.